Hmm. Okay, for the record, I would have done much better. To the device. Higher order representation formation initiating test. The patient is ready to be examined. Higher order representation what? Engram surgery carries an elevated risk of the onset of personality disorder. The test is essential. What's this thing in a Jake for? It measures pupillary response. What are these tests meant to test? Initiate device calibration. Respond to the keywords. No thinking, just the first word that comes to mind. Journey. I should just do Johnny for all of them. Um, Orbit. Home. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Mega building. Enemy. Death. Principal. Our soccer. Betrayal. Johnny. You're in a cornfield. Tall green plants as far as the eye can see. The sun is bright, blinding. The stalks of corn part as you walk forward. You come across a clearing left by an automated combine in its wake. The heat has made your mouth dry and sticky. You spot a rodent's nest at your feet. The machine has torn through the soft soil. You spot blind newborn field mice around their mother. The machine has left her sliced in two. They lie in perfect symmetry, a tiny rodent rosette. Your mouth begins to water. A shadow gradually falls over the ground. The first rain cloud of the year. Hmm. Yes. Right. Measurements complete. How'd I do? We will see. Motor function test. Please step onto the treadmill. And this is such a weird ending. What the hell? Motor function test. Please connect to the device. What's this test all about? Please walk. Gradually accelerate. How am I doing? Please control your breathing. Accelerate by three. Get up. You can't stay here. Welcome to N54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan. The world remains gripped by the revelation that Saburo Arasaka has returned from the dead in the body of his son, Yorinobu Arasaka. A letter of protest regarding the apparent resurrection has been signed by religious leaders, human rights groups, and Virtue 100 company CEOs. This is an abomination born of unchecked vanity, technocratic arrogance, complete moral collapse. 
Our position is clear. Saburo Arasaka's seizure of power is in violation of international law. International arbitration is absolutely necessary to... Do we really want to live in a world where the rich and powerful can become immortal? Where they can continue to take from the poor? Not only their livelihoods, but even their bu- You are gods! You are gods! You are gods! You are gods! Life is not for trade! Life is not- But Saburo Arasaka has issued his response in similarly strong terms. There will be no appeasement. Arasaka外部の方々に問いかけ言われる筋合いはありません。生を受けることに許可が必要ない以上、蘇ることも同様であると考えるべきです。私が息子を殺めたなどという主張は事実無根。法的根拠もありません。合意の上での身体の譲与は一種の
Communications have been unlocked. You may now phone home. Earth. Are we dying? We might be. It just, this does not seem to be going well. Oof. How do I call people? Oh, with this? Oh. How's it going? Hey, think I ought to ask you the same. Got rid of the biochip. Arasaka do it? Yeah. Sitting on their orbital station. All right. So once you get back, pay me a visit, huh? You're gonna need a thorough checkup. Yeah, so, to be honest, been better. But what am I supposed to do long distance over the phone? I just wanted to talk, Vic. <sighs> Look, we go back long enough that you know I'm no good at this stuff. And Misty's out of town. What am I supposed to do? Get a grip. Make a decision. You already showed yourself and me. You can do it. Yeah. Thanks for the pep talk, Vic. Sounds like a plan. Romance Misty, it's not too late. Hey. You've got some nerve. Wait, what? What's the problem? Oh, I spoke with Victor. So please stop acting surprised. Where the hell are you? Hey, stop yelling at me. You piece of shit. You're lucky we're not face to face. Seriously. Where are you? Sitting on an Arasaka orbital station. No idea which one. Like I could give a shit which one. You're in trouble. Again. Alone. You could have asked for help. Had my reasons. Oh, fuck. Enough. Just stop pissing me off. Return to Earth now, before they hurt you. Nice to hear your voice again. It's good to hear yours too, idiot. Now come home. Hey. Hey, P. Look, um, season finale of Little Big Corporal Rats is on in a minute, so, uh, call you back later, huh? Okay. Never mind. Have fun. Will do. See ya. Sorry, can't answer because I'm busy packing my shit. If you don't know why, it means I just didn't want to tell you. If this is V, I'll call you. Maybe, baby, when I'm done being pissed off. Hey. Hey, uh, bad time. Can I wait? Um, not really. It's actually important. Fuck. Sorry. Look, can't talk now. Gonna have to call you back. Frickin' pain, man. Oh my god. So lonely. Whew. Oh. Wait. Are things looking somewhat normal? Oh. 
Well, that's good. Wait, are we dreaming? Cognitive function test. Solve the cube. of tensions was heightened when your noble Arasaka assumed leadership following his father's death and accused Militech of his murder. However, in an unexpected shift, the return of Saburo Arasaka appears to have diffused the situation between the rival megacorporations. Saburo Arasaka and NUS President Rosalind Myers have agreed to meet in person to lay the groundwork for a lasting peace. A first step of goodwill was taken today as the Arasaka CEO withdrew from Night City 15 armored vehicles from the company. Hey, listen. These tests gonna go on much longer? We need very precise data. Can't stand this anymore. Cognitive function test. Solve the cube. Paste it up. Respond to the key words. No thinking, just the first word that comes to mind. Loyalty. No idea. respond to each term with the first thing that comes to mind. Quick as I can, no thinking, right? Humanity. Enough! No more tests. I refuse to take any. Please step onto the treadmill. No. quickly as you can, without thinking about it. V. Hanako Arisaka. Want to talk to him now. Dude, are we... Cognitive function test. Are we not in the real world? Did we not survive? Solve the cube. Fuck, no, enough. I've had it. Fucking hate this place. Vent your frustrations. Optional. You look just as you did when I found you in the rubbish. Get up. Dude, help! 
Daikamura. Blunt as usual. They say you demanded Saman tell you the truth. It is an awful place. It is no wonder you are losing your mind. Come all the way here to take me home? They asked me to speak with you. Who asked you? Who wanted you to talk to me? Hanako? She has forgotten you already. They called from here, from the clinic. And what did they say? They said someone should talk with you. Someone you know. I will be blunt. The surgery did not help. You will be dead before winter. How? How's that possible? Our sockets got the best and brightest. No, no. The operation was a success, and that is why. But the changes the chip made were too great, even for the corporate neurosurgeons. This is fucking Arasaka. They should figure something out. You must accept the truth, then listen to what I say. There are options. Dead in a few months. That's me, huh? You will feel better at first, but then the illness will grow fierce, attack in full force. Your final weeks, you will spend in bed. Fuck! Please, feel no anger. I wish to speak about an alternative. What are you talking about? Trusted you all once already. You let me down. You may join the Secure Your Soul program. Hanako Arasaka has agreed to it. You will leave your body. Arasaka will store your engram in Mikoshi until a way is found to transfer it to a new body. Store? Can I get a new body right off? With technology as it is now, this is impossible. Seemed pretty damn possible for Saburo Arasaka. He returned in his son's body. Tissue compatibility made things easier. Yet you have phenotype. Thanks to the chip, it's unique. Arasaka cannot provide a suitable body at this time. Nope. Doesn't sound good at all to me. I agree to this, and they'll do whatever they want with me. There will be a contract to protect you. Sign it, and you will live. It is written here that you relinquish all rights, but do not worry. The law is simply behind the times, and Ingram is not legally a person. So I get to be corporate property first. Like many brain dance stars and politicians from what I know, the program is a success. There have been no complaints. And if I say no? This is not a prison. You will take your things and return to Night City. Why are you? I would sign. But the choice is yours. Think it through carefully. Don't want to die. A good choice. The England station is ready for you. We should not wait for your condition to worsen. Gonna see each other again? I believe we will. So? See you. Visit me in Kagawa. I will show you what is real food. Hey, what's your name? Hajime. Hajime, let me ask you something. What would you say to a person who walked right into their greatest foe's jail to save their life? Hmm, I would say, all right. But do not forget the way home.
Dude, what an ending. Like... Wow. Wow. Man. Avi, how's the Earth looking from way up there? She is pretty, as they say. Or is that just another lie? Listen, don't forget, your implants were made for Earth gravity. He doesn't know. In orbit. He doesn't know. What I'm know. trying to say is don't ignore any arrow warnings, okay? <sighs> and when you're back, I mean, if you come back, I'll do a full checkup. Maybe even give you a little discount. Take care, V. No one said goodbye to him. Yeah, that's true. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I, I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hello, V. How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's sandstorms heading straight for us. So yeah, you're missing out. No, but seriously, we're doing all right. Saul and I somehow get along, for better or for worse. But still, family's always growing, work's always piling up. But better to keep busy, right? And to think if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stumbling my way through Night City. So I just want to say thank you. For all you've done for me. I'd still be lost if you hadn't set me on the right track. All right, well, talk soon, V. Don't be a stranger. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now, but just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo. Remember that. Maybe the big thing was us uh, doing the Aristocca Tower thing earlier. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally going to drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now. But remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to. Oh, 
voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass the message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Yeah. Both of you. Thank take you. Take care of yourselves. Okay? Hey, Pete. So, funny thing just said. Oh, fuck, fuck, sake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. Uh, what did I even... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me? And asked if I would go on tour with them. At first, I was like, over oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out. B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Damn. somewhere no one's listening okay so my wife Elizabeth she's in on the whole thing she she keeps saying I should look after myself tells me to take these pills says they're vitamins got them analyzed at a lab and they look okay but, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results well, 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 when you got a sec call me okay oh yeah don't forget to delete this message. Hey V, orbital connections cost an arm and a leg, so I'll just get right to it. I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh dear. The Fool, the Moon, the High Priestess. Those, uh... Those are bad cards. Keep a close eye on your new friends, V. I mean it. Damn, dude, that that ending hurt. That ending hurt. Oh. man that one that one was tough that one was really tough yeah that went that ending was tough dude they're all they're all rough like my lord What do we get? Hold on. So what do we get for completing that ending? Wow, dude, that was that ending was tough, dude. That was that it was that was just like so incredibly depressing. Like he gave up his life, he was clearly messed up. Totally alone, just like boom, 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 boom. Wow. 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 
Could have gone back to Night City. That's true. Yeah, that's true. We could have gone back to Night City. But I mean, that would have... That was like terrible as well. Like there was just, there was no good ending there. There was just no good ending. Um, let's see. Uh, need a weapon? I don't think so. I don't know what we got. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for me today. Oh, go to special? Wait, what, what is what is what is special? Hold on, time out real quick. But man, oh my lord. Yeah, we're going to do... Um, we're going to do Pan Am's ending tomorrow for sure. We're going to do Pan Am's ending tomorrow for sure. Um, yeah, well, why, why was chat saying special? Special clothing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I don't think so. No, nothing here. Nothing here. Yeah. So we're going to do Pan Am's ending tomorrow. Uh, tonight, I will be back at 6.30 p.m. ET. We're going to be doing some uh, beer drinking. And we're going to be running around doing uh, map clearing, making more money. Um, I think, I think I've got at least a couple side quests left. So maybe we'll do... Um, Maybe we'll do some side quests this evening, if we can find some. If you know of anything I haven't done in the game yet, I mean, be here tonight. We'll we'll definitely look through it. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But anyway, guys, I do really appreciate you being here. I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are on the globe. Tomorrow, I think we're going to do the Pan Am ending. We're going to finish anything else we want to do. And then I'll probably uh, go back to Phoenix. Yeah, I think we'll do some Immortals, Immortal Phoenix Rising tomorrow. So, yeah, should be good, should be good. All right, dudes. Have a great rest of your day and excellent morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are around the globe. As always, thank you so much for spending some of your life here. And I will see you fine folks tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. ET for more Cyberpunk or this evening at 6.30 p.m. ET for, well, more Cyberpunk. See you guys then.